So I've decided to try and make my model into separate parts. So I have this part here, this part here, the midsection, and then the actual front handle section. Um, so that should allow me some adjustment if I need to make changes later. So we've started with this part here. I took a photograph of it, um, which you can see here, and then I've outlined the, um, the part basically. Uh, and I took some dimensions to try and make it as accurate as possible. So I can now uh, delete this background image. So let me get rid of that. And then we just have my sketch. So if I select the edges and the, oops, select the edges and the circles, I can then extrude that. Now I know that uh, I took some calipers to this and I know that this is around eight millimeters thick. So I've set that to eight millimeters and I'm gonna do it around the mid plane, just like this. So now we have a 3D representation of this portion of the uh, handle. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do is export that as an STL file and print that. Um, so I know some people would probably do the whole model and then print it, but since I'm quite new to 3D modeling, I'm just going to print this one part, hold it up to it and see if I'm actually, you know, anywhere near what it needs to be. Uh, hopefully it will be, but you can see that basically it represents it like that. Now hopefully I won't have to get it 100% millimeter perfect. I'm hoping there's, you know, a little bit of play in the design, but we'll see. I'll print it off and see how accurate it is. So uh, let's go to the printer. So the part is finished printing and here it is. Um, I only did a 10% infill and one shell since it's only a test piece. So let's see how well it lines up. Oh wow, <laughs> it's pretty accurate. I mean, that's, that's really accurate. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised that I did that well on my first my first attempt at tracing this, I'd say, yeah, mostly that's within, it's got to be within a millimetre or so. Wow, that, that's a good start. Now obviously in the final piece this won't be rounded and then have this separate, it will all be one continuous piece, um, but I'll just design them individually and then join them up. But okay, yeah, I'm happy with that, That's that's a good start. Obviously the final piece will also be printed in black, um, but for now, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. How's the thickness? Yep, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. So the next uh, point will be to replicate this, uh, because this part is almost the same. You can see that this bit is the same. It's got the same curve. The only difference is that instead of having this hole here for the rod, it has um, this I don't know how to describe it, but this section coming out here, and that's where the spring is held on. So um, I'll replicate that there, modify the top section, then move on to the middle section here, and then move on to the front faceplate. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for part three.